to wear it on my head. She makes them. I don't know where I would wear it though. Okay. They might sit on them. Do you like them? Do you want them? Yeah, maybe they're going to play out. Okay, this is Angels in America. It's the hallucination scene by Tony Kushner. Ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille? <laughs> <clears throat> Sky was blue and high above, the moon was new and so was love. The seagull heart of mine was singing, Lover, where can you be? Love came at last. Love had its day. That day is past. You've gone away. This sinking heart of mine was singing, Lover, come to me. When I remember every little thing you used to do. Oh, I'm lonely. Every road I've walked along, I've walked along with you. No wonder I am lonely. The sky is blue, the night is cold, and the moon is new, and love is old. And while I'm standing here, this heart of mine was singing, Lover, come back to me. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wants to move through life with such elegance and grace, blossoming like a rare bloom, a zebra orchid. One wants, but one seldomly gets what one wants, does one. No. One does not. One gets fucked. Over. One dies at 30. Robbed of decades of magistry. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. I look like a corpse. A corpse set. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my queen, you know you've hit rock bottom when drag is even a drag. <laughs> are you? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing in my hallucination? I am not in your hallucination. You're in my dream. Oh, you're wearing makeup. <laughs> so are you. But you're a man. <laughs> the hands and feet must give it away. Oh, I don't understand this. I don't recognize you. You're not some sort of... Imaginary friend? Um, aren't you too old to be having imaginary friends? I have emotional problems. I took too many pills. Why are you wearing makeup? Um, I was in the process of applying the face to make myself feel better. I swiped these new fall color at the Clinic counter at Macy's. <laughs> you sell these? Uh, I was out of cash. It was an emotional emergency. <laughs> oh, Joe will be so angry. I promised him no more pills. 
these pills you keep alluding to. Oh, Valium. I take Valium. Lots of Valium. Oh, and you're dancing as fast as you can. Mm. I'm not addicted. I don't believe in addiction. I mean, I never drink. And I never take drugs. <laughs> oh, well, smell you, Nancy Drew. Accept <laughs> <laughs> Valium. Accept Valium. And we this fool. Mormons are not supposed to be addicted. I'm Mormon. Well, well I'm a homosexual. Oh. <laughs> in my church, we don't believe in homosexuals. Well, in my church, we don't believe in Mormons. Oh, what church do you... <laughs> oh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I don't understand this. If I didn't ever see you before, and I don't believe that I did, then I don't think you should be here in this hallucination because the mind, which is where hallucinations come from, shouldn't be able to make up anything that didn't enter it from the real world that wasn't already there to begin with. The imagination can't create anything new, can it? It only rearranges bits and pieces and recycles them into visions. Am I making any sense right now? Given the circumstances, yes. <laughs> so when we think we've escaped the unbearable ordinariness and, well, untruthfulness of our lives, it's really only the same old ordinariness and, well, falseness reassembled into the appearance of novelty and truth. Nothing unknown is knowable. Oh, don't you think it's depressing? The limitations of the imagination? Yes. Well, something I learned at my second themed party. It's all been done before. <laughs> the world, finite. Terribly, terribly. Oh, wow, well, this is the most depressing hallucination I've ever had. <laughs> My apologies. I do try to be more amusing. Oh, no need to apologize. I can't expect someone as sick as you to entertain me. How honored did you know that I was sick? Oh, that happens. This is the very threshold of revelation sometimes. We can see things in people, like how sick you are. Do you see anything in me? Yes. What? You're extremely unhappy. Big deal. I mean, a Valium addict, and you figure out she's unhappy. That doesn't count. Something else. Something surprising. Something surprising? Yes. Your husband's a homo. <laughs> Ridiculous. Joe's a very normal man. Threshold of revelations. Well, I don't like your revelations. I don't think you intuit well at all. Joe's a normal man. He, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> Do homos take, like, really long walks? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do, in our stretch pants and lavender coifs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I looked at you and I... Saw I, this blue streak of recognition. Yeah. Like you knew me incredibly well. Yeah. I have to go now. Something just fell apart. Oh, God. I feel so sad. I'm sorry. Usually I say, fuck the truth. <laughs> but mostly, something in you, something deep inside of you, the innermost part of you entirely free of disease. I can see that. Is that true? Threshold of revelation. People come and go so quickly here. <laughs> any part of me that's uninfected at all. My heart is pumping polluted blood. I feel so dirty. Hello? Who is that? Hello? I, I can't see anything. Hello? Is that it? Hello? What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh my for me. Oh, I don't feel really good right now. I really don't. Oh.
Ah, instructions from out. She wants you out. Out. Out.